Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am particularly excited about this video because I am filming the biggest essential haul oil that I have ever purchased. If you follow me on Instagram you might already know but over the last couple of months I have gotten super into the essential oil life. I have always been um particularly over the last couple years, interested in um, reducing the number of toxic chemicals in my life and in my home and the products that we use. And once I got pregnant with my first child, um, which you guys already know I recently had back in October, I got super into like really deep diving into making sure that all of the toxic chemicals and you know icky products that contain fragrance and stuff were out of my home. Um, before I really started doing a whole lot of research I didn't really have a whole lot of knowledge on just how toxic a lot of the chemicals in my home were. I kind of ran under the assumption of if it's available to purchase in a store it's likely pretty safe and you know pretty good to use in your home and especially those products that are specifically advertised as being non-toxic and you know green and good for the environment, good for your health. Um, and it actually kind of turns out that most of those products are not actually as good as they claim and that almost every single product in my home after I looked into it contained fragrance, which if you do a little bit of research into it, um, you'll find that fragrance can kind of mean anything. Uh, it can be any number of thousands of chemicals that are toxic and some are even carcinogenic and none of them have been proven safe and so... Yeah, like I said, when I got pregnant with my daughter, I really got serious about buckling down and removing toxic products from my home, and that's when I discovered essential oils and really started to kind of research uh, what they could do for myself, my family, our health, our home, and I have just kind of fallen head over heels in love with essential oils and Young Living specifically because they have their seed to seal guarantee, which means that they are involved in the production of the oils from the time the seed is planted until it is, you know, bottled up and sealed up and shipped out to you. So every step of the way is guaranteed pure and uh, there's no additives added into Young Living's essential oils, which I really appreciate. Uh, they are 100% therapeutic grade and yeah I absolutely love their oils and I've been using them in my home and in my life I believe since last September is when I signed up and um, got my premium starter kit and I actually have more oils to share with you guys today than came in my starter kit so when I said I have the biggest oil haul to share with you I was not kidding I have so many oils this is actually my Valentine's Day and birthday present kind of combined from my husband and what is so exciting is that the way Young Living works is that um, each month they have promos and so basically they send you free products based on the amount of money you spend with them each month. I am on their Essential Rewards Program which is basically a rewards program so you get um, first of all, a percentage, I get 20% back of each of my orders because I have been on ER for over three months. It's this whole thing, but basically I get 20% of my purchase back as reward points, and in addition to that, I get a whole bunch of free products. And so I'm going to start off by sharing the free products that I got this month because I got a ton of free products this month, and I am so, so excited. So let's dive right on in. So there are different levels of free products each month and um, a different free oil associated with a different purchase price and I was actually able to qualify for all of them so these are all the possible free products that you could have gotten with a purchase in February and I'm not exactly sure which oil was associated with each level so I'm not going to show them in any particular order just um, kind of all the free oils that I got this month. So the first thing I got was actually a roller, and this is the Rudavala oil. This is known to be super helpful with sleep, and I'm actually really excited to give this to my husband because he has been having a little bit of trouble falling asleep and staying asleep recently, and so I think this will really help him. Um, and another thing, all of these oils I'm pretty sure are brand new to me. I don't think I've tried any of the ones that I either purchased or got for free, so, well, except for the um, set that I'm going to show you next. I have tried those oils, but other than that, all of them are new to me. I haven't used them, but I will kind of share with you what I am planning on using them for and what they are kind of known for. So yeah, but anyways, moving on. <laughs> so this little sample box came with three different oils, uh, a lavender, peppermint, and tea tree, and they're in these pretty little limited edition bottles. I don't know if you can really see it on the camera, but they are kind of like silver foiled and just kind of really pretty bottles. So <laughs> I'm a sucker for good pack packaging. If you've been following me, you know that. 
but yeah it comes in this pretty little decorative box and I have tried lavender and peppermint both of those came in the starter kit but I actually have yet to try tea tree and I'm really excited because I definitely do get breakouts um now and then and so I'm excited to try Young Living's tea tree on them and see how that works because I've heard really good things obviously about tea tree treating acne and lavender is probably one of the most widely used oils it's um, good for relaxation but it's also a really good skin support oil so whenever I get a tiny little cut or something or like a hangnail paperclip whatever I've been putting lavender on it and it has been healing small cuts and stuff so quickly and it kind of like takes away the sting right away so yeah I've been loving using lavender for skin support because I had no idea that it did that I thought it was kind of an exclusively like a sleep relaxation oil but lavender is actually known as the Swiss Army knife of oils and so if you're ever unsure of which oil to use for something chances are lavender can be used for that so that's new information that I kind of recently discovered I thought that was very interesting um, and then peppermint is just, again, a really good oil. It's actually one of my favorite scents. I just really love the, you know, fresh, minty, clean scent of peppermint. My favorite way to use that is putting a drop inside my shower, and so it kind of steams up and makes the whole bathroom smell like a spa while I'm taking a shower, and it's really nice and relaxing, and it also is good for clearing out your sinuses and for respiratory support. So, yeah, love peppermint. All right, the next free oil we've got is patchouli, and um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to use this for. I'm not totally sure what patchouli can be used for. I know some women like to use it in their perfumes, but to be honest, I don't even really know what it smells like. Let's open it up and see. That's actually not bad. I wasn't really expecting to like it all that much. It's very earthy, but not like dirty earthy, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. It kind of smells like dirt, but in a good way, <laughs> if that makes any sense. We also got geranium. We got a bunch of florals this month because obviously February and Valentine's Day, so I know they sent out a couple of oils in the free promos to kind of coordinate with Valentine's diffuser scents and stuff like that. Ooh, geranium smells really good. I'm not a huge floral person generally, but I really like this. That's really nice. That's not like sickly sweet floral like some florals can be. So yeah, excited about geranium. And then we also got ylang ylang. I think that's how you say it. Well, let's see how this one smells. I think this is also another floral scent. Ooh, that's really nice. That kind of smells like, what does that smell like? Hmm. I don't know, it's sweet, but in like a sugar sweet way, not like a floral sweet way. I really like that. It's kind of lavendery, kind of just like a nice, clean, flowery smell. I like that. Again, I really wasn't expecting to like these flowery scents so much, but I'm really pleasantly surprised. And then cedarwood. Um, this is definitely one of my go-to sleep and relaxation oils. I've been using it from another brand, but I'm really excited that I got, um, the Young Living freebie because I just don't really like using other brands of essential oils now that I've done a little bit of research and found that most other essential oil companies that you can get by, you know, like on Amazon or at Target or something are usually mixed with additives and so aren't as pure and then you can be just breathing in the toxins that you are trying to eliminate in the first place. So yeah, but cedarwood um, is known to support the, I believe it's the limbic system that um, produces uh, melatonin so it's supposed to help you relax and sleep and that's what I really like about essential oils is that their job is to kind of support your body doing what it naturally does already. So. It's not, you know, introducing any synthetic uh, medications or whatever into your body and kind of forcing your body to do something. It's just kind of supporting the body systems to naturally do what they are already set up to do and just make sure that they do their jobs efficiently and well. So yeah, that's what I love about essential oils. So. This, again, like I said, I will be using in my sleep blends. And so that finishes up all the freebies that we got in February. So that was a total of seven bottles of essential oils plus one roll-on, which I think is just unbelievable that that is all I got for completely free just for placing an order and not to mention the 20% back that I actually get added to my account to go towards future purchases. So yeah, I think that's just unbelievable and so, so generous of Young Living. So. With that said, let's move into the products that I actually picked out and purchased, and I am so excited. I have had a wish list going of all the oils that I have wanted in my phone since starting Young Living, and just kind of, 
been adding to it ever, you know, whenever I hear about a really good diffuser blend that I want to try out that I'm missing an oil for, or if I hear about an oil that has a really good purpose that I'm looking to utilize, I just threw it on my wish list, and so I kind of just went down my wish list and added everything into my ER order this month. And yeah, so basically just got a big old box of oily goodness. Um, so let's kick things off. I'm not going to really go in any particular order again. I just have all my oils sitting here right next to me. I'm just going to kind of pick them up and let you know why I got them. <laughs> Alright, so the first one is Progescence Plus, and this is actually in a really pretty unique kind of um, frosted glass bottle with a really pretty label. I don't know, I just really think it's really pretty. Um, this is a great hormone support for women, and so I plan on using this daily. Um, I have a roller top fitament thing that came in my starter kit that I'm going to pop on the top of this oil. Um, I've just seen that's how most women use theirs, and just kind of make it really easy to apply every single day. And yeah, it's just kind of just supposed to help uh, balance your hormones and support your endocrine system. Next, I have two eucalyptuses. I have eucalyptus globulus and eucalyptus radiata. I had no idea that there were so many different kinds of eucalyptus before starting essential oils, but there are. I really, really like the scent of eucalyptus, and so I wanted to get these, A, for just diffuser blends, also to, again, use in my showers. I think that eucalyptus will be a really nice, light, refreshing scent for that same purpose, um, but I wasn't sure which one I would like better. Apparently, they do have different scents, and they also do have different therapeutic properties, so, um, yeah, look into that if you are looking to get a eucalyptus oil for yourself, but... I'm really excited to smell both of these and see which one I like better. All right, next up we have Joy, and I'm really, really excited about this oil. I've heard a lot of people like to put a drop of this over their heart every day just to kind of lift their mood and, you know, increase joy, I guess, in their life. Um, I definitely have been really interested in the emotional support oils. I just think that the sense of smell is such a powerful sense that it just makes sense that it can affect your, you know, mood and outlook and stuff. And so, yeah, I'm really excited. I'm just going to actually smell this because I'm curious to see. It kind of smells like the geranium or ylang ylang. No, I forget which one smelled like which, but um, I definitely like it. It's like a nice light floral. And again, I normally, I guess maybe I just don't like fake floral scents, and I'm just so used to that's the only floral scent that I've ever been exposed to is fake fragrance, and I actually do like the way flowers smell, but I do really like this, but it is definitely, it's not overpowering. It smells really, really good. I like it. I also picked up Energy. Um, this is something that I'm definitely planning to diffuse a whole lot now that I have an almost four month old, which is just so unbelievable. I can't believe she's already almost four months old. But um, even though she is an excellent sleeper and sleeps at least like 10 hours straight a night, and, and I'm so thankful for that, I'm still running around all day trying to, you know, take care of her and get everything done, film videos for my YouTube, take pictures for Instagram, keep my house clean, feed myself, and <laughs> do all that stuff. So I get quite tired. So I'm really excited to diffuse this to give myself a little bit of an energy pick-me-up whenever I need it. <laughs> I also have White Angelica, which was kind of an impulse um, addition to my order. I just remember hearing about it a whole lot that people really like how it smells. I think it's also supposed to be an emotional support oil. It's definitely a little florally, although not as good as the other florals that I've opened so far, but maybe mixed with other things. Also, I heard that you're not supposed to actually smell straight out of the bottle, so I'm doing this totally wrong. You're supposed to, like, put it under your shirt by your belly button and kind of smell in your shirt because they're so strong that when you smell them straight out of the bottle, that's not actually how it'll smell when it's diffused, so... I don't know if that's true, but that's just something I read recently. Sorry if I'm playing with my hair a lot. I feel like it's really staticky and it keeps like tickling my face. So also sorry if my hair is like totally staticky and crazy looking. I have no idea what it looks like, but I just feel it tickling me. So anyways, back to the oils. <laughs> I also picked up Endoflex. This is another um, endocrine support oil. And so I plan to use Endoflex, Progescence Plus, and Sclorescence, which I already own every single day, just to kind of support... Um, balanced hormones and a healthy endocrine system. Um, this is the uh, protocol that a lot of, you know, women use on a daily basis to help make sure everything is running smoothly. Hormones are so important for so many things in the way your body runs and making it run smoothly and efficiently, and so you want to make sure that that system is well supported so everything is working the way it should be. And so, yeah, I'm excited to really get started on a daily endocrine support system with my oils. Next up, I got two oils kind of to diffuse for my baby. Um, this is Gentle Baby and Seedlings Calm. So I believe both of these. I know Seedlings Calm. Now I'm second guessing Gentle Baby, but I know Seedlings Calm is pre-diluted to use around kids and so it's not as strong. Um, 
And so I don't think, I don't think Gentle Baby is actually on the kids line of things, but um, yeah, these are supposed to just be good, really relaxing and calming oils. So if your baby is really upset or your, you know, toddler's upset or whatever, um, pop these in the diffuser, or I think you're also able to use them topically and it just, you know, relaxes them, calms them down. It's just supposed to be a really good, you know, I guess emotional support oil for kids. But um, yeah, so, and I've also heard that these smell really, really good. So I'm excited to add these to my arsenal of parenting. <laughs> I picked up this oil Envision for myself and I'm really excited. Um, I have a lot of goals that I'm trying to accomplish and kind of a lot of dreams that I have for my content online and just kind of um, work in the sense of working from home and helping to contribute to my family in a financial sense. And so I thought the Envision oil would be a really good oil to kind of just help, I don't know, support those dreams and to, you know, for motivation. And the description to this oil just really spoke to me. And so I'm planning on using this when I, you know, sit down to work, when I either film YouTube videos or if I'm kind of just sitting down trying to brainstorm content ideas or whatever. I just thought this would be a really fun oil to use for that. I have Northern Lights Black Spruce, which everyone recommends. They say it smells so, so good. I wanted to also pick up Idaho Blue Spruce, but it went out of stock before I could order it. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells like a straight up, well, spruce tree, which makes sense, duh, but it smells really, really good. I love the like pine, spruce, all of those kind of like, you know, Christmassy type trees. They smell really good. I love all those oils. Next up, I have both fennel and basil, and these are actually to help increase my milk supply. I have basically a lower milk supply in one side of me, and so I'm trying to kind of boost that side and so I plan on making myself a roller and kind of just rolling this on my chest in between feedings um, nowhere where the baby will actually be able to ingest the oils but I have heard really good things about these two oils increasing milk supply and so I thought I'd give it a try. I also picked up uh, a rosemary vitality so the basil and fennel I believe were the only other two vitality oils that I got and those are labeled for ingestion. Um, they're the exact same oils that come in the non-vitality versions but these are just you know FDA compliant to be sold as ingestible oils, but I got the rosemary to put in the mermaid hairspray. Um, my husband and I like to have the mermaid hairspray on hand. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a mix of essential oils that you can use to spray on your hair to promote healthy hair growth, and um, yeah, we like to use that. I think he uses it every day. I use it after I wash my hair, and yeah. So I picked up some rosemary because we needed more of that. I also got the Kid Sense Genius, and um, this isn't for my kid. This is actually for my husband and I. It's supposed to be a really good oil for a focus, and um, my husband does have ADD, and so I thought I would get this for him to see if, I don't know, he likes the oil. Um, and also, I plan to use it if I want to just sit down and knock a whole, knock a whole bunch of work out. Um, yeah, it's never a bad thing to have a little help with focus, so got that for that. And the very last oil that I have in this haul is Sarah, and this is supposed to be an emotional support heavy hitter. I've heard lots of um, anecdotal stories about the first time people smelling Sarah that they start crying because it's just such an overpowering emotional oil, so I thought that was a little crazy, so I had to give it a try for myself. Not gonna smell it on camera, just in case that's true, but I'm really excited to, you know, use this oil and see what it does. So yeah, that's the last oil I picked up, but I also actually did pick up a grapefruit lip balm. Again, I've heard amazing things about these lip balms. Everyone says they're super soft and creamy and I needed something super cheap to kind of push me over the edge to get that last tier of freebies and I think this is the cheapest thing that Young Living sells. So I picked myself up a lip balm. So yeah, again, it's good to have, you know, these non-toxic alternatives. I have been slowly trying to phase out things like Vaseline lip balm, which is obviously terrible for you, and swap things out for more natural non-toxic products. So yeah, and especially since this goes on my lips and I'm sure you ingest a little bit of lip balm, it's really good to have a non-toxic version of that. So I'm excited to try this out and hopefully like it. And yeah, grapefruit is my favorite, favorite scent. I already have the grapefruit oil and I absolutely love it. So I'm really excited to have a lip balm with that scent. And that finishes up my huge ER monthly haul for February. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of coming along on this little oily unboxing with me and seeing what oils I picked up and what I plan to use them for and all of the amazing free perks that came with my order for this month. Um, if you're interested in learning more about oils, you can definitely message me and I would be more than happy to answer any of your questions about either the oils or Young Living and how it works. I know I talked about a lot of things that might be a little confusing like ER and starter kit and you know the reward points and promos and different tiers and stuff. So um, without making this video too long, I kind of wanted to touch on each of those things, but
But if you would like a more in-depth description, please feel free to either leave me a comment down below, DM me on Instagram, or you can actually email me. I have an essential oils email now, and it's just meritessentials at gmail.com, or you can follow me at meritessentials on Instagram. I share a lot of oily information over on there. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in finding a little bit more about my non-toxic choices and why I chose to incorporate Young Living into my life, feel free to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to talk oils with you. But other than that, I'm going to wrap up this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big old thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe down, down below to follow along with all of my videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!